Numerous wars have been fought between Israelis and Palestinians. Both exchange rocket fires, missiles, etc. often. There have also been loss of life and property. But there doesn't seem to be an end to the hostilities in the future. Let's understand the issue in detail. For several years, there have been numerous clashes between Israelis and Palestinians. Lately, both the people have been exchanging rocket fires, missiles, etc. Many wars have been declared and several ceasefires have been imposed. In most cases, both sides have claimed victory in the conflicts. As a result, there have been loss of life and property. Even after suffering a lot in these clashes, there doesn't seem to be an end to the hostilities in the future in any way as people of both sides may not be ready to reconcile. Let's explore the issue in detail. The conflict arose long time ago when the world leaders decided to come up with a Jewish state in the region to give the community a separate state to ensure their prosperity. This land, which was to be their homeland, was inhabited by a Jewish minority and Arab majority. The British carved out Israel from the region called as Palestine at that time as it was under their rule. For Jews, it was their ancestral home. And as Palestinian Arabs also claimed it, this did not go down well with them and gave birth to the conflict. The tension between the two sides seems to not reduce with time. Several Jews fleeing Europe arrived in the region between 1920s and 1940s. After the Holocaust of World War II, they sought a homeland. The UN voted for Palestine to be split into separate Jewish and Arab states in 1947. It also made Jerusalem an international city. Violence between Jews and Arabs has begun since then. The plan was accepted by Jewish leaders but rejected by the Arab side. So, it could not be implemented. After being unable to solve the problem, the British left in 1948. And Jewish leaders declared the creation of the State of Israel. Many Palestinians objected and a war followed after the troops from neighboring Arab countries invaded. By the time, fighting ended in a ceasefire. Israel controlled most of the territory. Several Palestinians were forced to flee in the Al-Nakba, or the catastrophe. Jordan occupied land known as West Bank while Egypt occupied Gaza. Jerusalem was divided between Israeli forces in the west, and Jordanian forces in the east. As there was no peace agreement, more wars followed. In 1967, another war was fought and Israel occupied East Jerusalem and the West Bank as well as most of the Syrian Golan Heights, Gaza and the Egyptian Sinai Peninsula. It was a major win for Israel. Most Palestinians live in Gaza and the West Bank, as well as in neighboring Lebanon, Jordan, and Syria. Israel has not allowed them to return to their homes. Israel still occupies the West Bank and pulled out of Gaza but the UN still regards it as an occupied territory. Israel claims the whole of Jerusalem as its capital and Palestinians claim East Jerusalem as the capital of a Palestinian state, which may come up in future. In a nutshell, the conflict doesn't seem to end any time soon as there are several issues both sides don't seem to get on the same page. These include the issue of Palestinian refugees, whether Jewish settlements in the West Bank should stay or be removed, can both share Jerusalem and should a Palestinian state be created alongside Israel. For more than 25 years, peace talks have been taking place on and off but so far, the conflict seems to only grow.